Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Seppi and in today's video I thought I'd do a little Valentine's Day get ready with me. I think it's so fun to enjoy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is all about love and I love love. So I thought I'd show you guys how I'm going to do my makeup and hair on Valentine's Day and a cute little outfit idea and we can have a little chit chat about what my Valentine's Day plans are, what my thoughts are on the day and how to enjoy it if you're single or if you're in a relationship. So first up I'm going to use my primer, this is the Glamazon Beauty uh, face primer in clear. So I actually really love Valentine's Day like I said in my little intro thing, this is so empty by the way I'm like squeezing it out. Um, I literally think it's just so cute to enjoy like a day celebrating love and it doesn't necessarily have to be like love with like traditionally like a partner or something like that it can always be with your friends and your family and this year I'm celebrating with two people so I'm probably going to celebrate on the 13th and the 14th so I'm going to celebrate with my best friend Christina and I'm also going to celebrate with my mum because my dad's not in town so I think it'll be cute for me and her to have a little I don't know dinner or something to celebrate because I love her a lot so why not go out on Valentine's Day with her. I think Valentine's Day is like a tricky one because some people like dread to the thought of it like I used to be one of those people I think when I was younger like I really used to dread the thought of Valentine's Day. I'm going in with my true match highlight by the way guys in does this have a shade? In shade golden glow. I'm just gonna put this here to my nose and top of my lips. So yeah I think when I was younger I used to really put pressure on myself to like Think like oh my god like you're not going out on the, with anyone on a date on Valentine's Day and all your friends are blah blah blah. Then I kind of like as I got older I realized like a it's kind of like overhyped. I think everywhere is just so busy with like couples that like I don't know. In my opinion, they look like they barely know each other a lot of the time because no one's really talking. But like when I see you go out on Valentine's Day dates, um, so it's almost like a they don't want to be alone kind of thing so they're out on this date and everywhere is like fully booked overpriced with like some set menu or something so when I go out I like to go places that I usually go to like nowhere like different or random having some like random set menu thing that you don't even like so that's just made me a bit more shiny in all the cute little places. Next I'm going in with my foundation by NYX this is the Stay Matte But Not Flat in shade 05. I like to put five dots onto my damp beauty blender and I just dab it all over my face. Then I'm grabbing my Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer in shade 01 Porcelain. I can't lie guys, one of the biggest benefits of being single on Valentine's Day is the money you were going to spend on a Valentine's gift for someone else. You can buy yourself a gift. Um, I always get myself a gift around Valentine's Day. I think last year I got myself Chanel trainers. It's definitely cute to be single. So for those of you who dread being single on V-Day, there's definitely some perks to it. The only crappy thing is that Valentine's Day this year is on a Thursday. So like, if you were planning on like going out with your girl mates or guy mates or whatever, um, you kind of have like work or school the next day, which is so annoying. Like, I would have liked to have like, I don't know, gone to like a bar or like a restaurant, have a couple of drinks with my friends. But it's gonna have to be one of those like cute little midweek dinners that ends at like 10 p.m. because everyone has to wake up early the next day. So I'm just gonna blend this all in. I'm going for a really like full coverage look. Um, I like full coverage for nights out and I'm guessing Valentine's Day usually, especially because this year it's midweek, you're going to be going on like a night out instead of a day out but I feel like this look will work just as well on the daytime as well um, even the outfit that I have planned um, would work just as well in the day look as well So Now that's all blended in, I like to grab my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in shade medium and then I always use the colour, this one which is I feel like they've done this the wrong way around because I think this is cinnamon um, but on the chart it says it the other way but yeah I think I'm grabbing shade cinnamon and I grab this Real Techniques brush that is quite like thin at the tip and I contour my face and how I do that is I go from the top of my ear kind of down my cheekbone
on my forehead, under my lip, and down the side of my nose. I take my nose contour all the way down to the tip, and I kind of go across like that. So this is how I like to do my contour. Sometimes I like to grab this middle shade, which is chocolate and I will just do a little dot right in the middle of that contour so that right where the center of your cheekbone is it gives that like false like sucked in cheekbone look which I love then I like to grab this Real Techniques round fluffy foundation brush and I just blend this all out if any of you guys are like stuck on like Valentine's Day gift ideas um, feel free to help each other out in the comments by the way but I tend to think that like something personal and inexpensive is the best one for Valentine's Day like if you're in a relationship I think that like Valentine's Day is definitely the one where you can be sentimental um, rather than like you know thinking of getting something extravagant because I feel like it's more of a day of love rather than like an anniversary or a birthday where you want to show thoughtfulness um, and like saving up to get someone like a glam gift I think Valentine's Day is more about just you know reflecting on your love so I don't know maybe a photo frame with like a picture of you and your partner in it or even you and your best friend if that's who you're celebrating with sometimes I feel like poetry books can be really cute I know this isn't like everyone's cup of tea but I feel like either like writing your own poem or like a, a card sometimes even if you're like not good with words I think that makes it even more like sentimental and cute when you like write your own poem in a card or something like that I think that's so adorable and or like if you're not good with words at all don't even want to attempt a card or poem I think um, a poetry book like a romantic poetry book is good or steal one off the internet that you really like and can relate to because you know no one said it had to be your own words now so yeah feel free to nab one off the internet guys i think flowers goes such a long way i'm just gonna put it out there i freaking love when someone buys me flowers my favorite flowers in the world are baby pink roses and sometimes i like really love it mixed in with white roses um like more baby pink roses than white roses but i feel like that's such a cute combination i know loads of girls love like red roses i don't know why i really hate them like my mom and my sister's favorite flowers are red roses and i hate red roses i just find them like because they're so generic i feel like no thought has gone into it which sounds so stupid because you know you can't help what what flowers you love and what flowers make you all happy and excited but for me it is definitely um baby pink roses and sometimes white roses mixed in also guys i got eyelash extensions i'm just dabbing my nose contour with my beauty blender softly um yeah i got eyelash extensions done and i really really like them i hope that they last well um so far none of them have fallen out which is really good um it's only been a day but usually like i do get drop out on the first day there we go that made it more natural now that I've done my contour, I'm going to go in with my eyebrows so that my base is pretty much done. I use the NYX Brow Pencil in Chocolate. And first I brush my brows up. I do a line underneath. Like that, very thin. Then a line on top. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then to do my eyes, I'm going to grab the Kat Von D Fetish Eyeshadow Palette and I literally just love it because of this one colour and it's this yellowy colour called Sex. <laughs> Ironic because this is a Valentine's Day tutorial. I'm just grabbing a really fluffy brush. This is from Zoeva and it's the 224 Luxe Defined brush and I'm putting it into the colour Sex and I'm putting that all over my eyelid, like borderline of packing it on, but also like using this fluffy brush to be able to blend it out. And then I'm gonna put a bit under my eye, all the way to the front. 
don't worry about it coming quite low because I think it looks nice. Next I'm grabbing the Zoeba Coco Blend Palette. Um, this is so affordable and it's like my go-to palette. I use it all the time and it's just my fave. I'm gonna be grabbing the color Substitute for Love. What is with these names, guys? I feel like it's like throwing hints at me, you know? Like, you single on Valentine's Day. You replace love with eyeshadows. Um, and I'm just putting that into my crease with the same brush. Kind of emphasize it on the edge and then put it into the actual crease. And then do the same on the other side. I probably recommend switching to like a less fluffy brush for this bit, like, but I can't be bothered. But I just feel like you'll damage your brush because you're doing something so focused. But yeah, I'm not doing that because I'm lazy. So this is where we're at, kind of just made it deeper. Now I'm taking an actually more pointed but still fluffy brush called the Luxe Soft Crease Brush and I'm going to go in with Freshly Toasted and I'm really going to focus that into my edge of my eye. Kind of like this. What do I mean kind of like this? Obviously just like this. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a bit in the outer edge of my eye, kind of drawing it up to this side. And the same again. Joining it up to this side. Now I'm grabbing Beans. Beans are white, which is basically this black shade. And I'm just going to go across my top lash line with this. So really close to... my lash just the outer portion and also make my lashes look fuller than they already are long I'm just blending out this edge my fingers I don't want it to be like really straight because that's what eyeliner is for and now for the most important bit my inner corner highlight I'm using pure ganache and this Zoeva Lux smoky shader brush and I'm literally just going into my inner corner with that so I like to put it like right here so not in like the corner corner but like the side of my eye if that makes sense and then I'm going to do the same on the other side and then with the same brush I'm going to get subtle blend which is another shimmery shade here and I'm going to put this I don't know if you can see that so Subtle Blend is the one I'm going to put now onto my eyelid and Pure Ganache is the one that I just put onto my inner corner. So I'm just going to put this a bit onto the centre of my eyelid, slowly dabbing because I don't want it to be too, too shiny but I don't want it to be like matte either. And I just kind of connect to the inner highlight. Like so. And then I do the same on the other side. That's my eyeshadow done and now I'm going to just do some eyeliner, I'm going to do a little wing. This is my favourite eyeliner right now, it's the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I got this because my sister Sina got it and I loved it, I stole it from her literally, she was like where is it and I was hiding it. And then I bought my own once it ran out and my mum got the same, we all love this. And I'm literally going to do a little, I'm just going to do a little flick from the centre of my eye all the way out, it might not be that visible because of my lashes going to try my best to show you. So I like to do a straight line from the middle of my eye, a straight line all the way out to where your lashes kind of end in your vision. And then I join a bottom line to that and then I fill it in. And then I just extend that slowly forward but very narrowly. Like so. This eyeliner has come out a bit thicker, so I have to thicken this one. But to be fair, I feel like the thicker one looks nicer anyway. I'm not sure. So, this is as equal as my eyeliner is going to get. 
but I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's okay. So I'm done with the eyes now, but you guys would probably want to um, put some falsies on. I recommend the Isla 202, that's my favorite. Or you could just use mascara, so curl your eyelashes before and put a couple of coats of mascara and you're good to go. Next, I'm gonna finish my face. So I'm going in with the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder. So it's the powder to my foundation. And this is in the shade um, SMP02 Nude. I have this fluffy little Real Techniques brush and I literally just put the powder underneath my eyes in like a V-shape exactly where I highlighted and I feel like this helps to brighten the under eyes, kind of hold down the makeup like the foundation and it's my step before I set. I know some people set and then do this but for me my skin would get really greasy if I set and then did this so Then I want to grab my bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. It's the NYX Matte Bronzer in shade um, MBB03 Medium. It is literally my favorite bronzer. I can't believe I've hit pan again because I've gone through so many of these in like the past three months because it's my favorite and also my sister always steals it. So I use the Zoeva Luxe Face Definer Brush 101 and I'm just going in like the shape of kind of on top of my contour lines going high up like this like quite gently like I'm not forcing it into my skin but I like to go first and I like to look very bronze because let's face it guys it is like 4 30 and it's dark outside already um, so London is not giving us any sunshine to work with so I've got to make up my own and I'm happy with that now I'm gonna wrap my highlighter up. This is my favorite highlight ever. This is the Becca Champagne Pop highlight. I grabbed this flat brush by B Cosmetics. It's an eyeshadow brush. And mine is like completely crushed and ruined. But it's my favorite. And I get a little bit on the edge of the brush and I literally go down the center of my nose. I put a big blob here. And then I put a big blob here. But then the line down the center of my nose, I do very faintly. Like so. I love highlighting my nose like this. I never blend it in because I love a striking nose contour and highlight. I just, that's my like little trademark. I don't care if other people don't like it because I love it. And I feel like that's the attitude you should have in life. Do what makes you happy, guys. I'm grabbing the Luxe Highlight Brush in 105 dipping it into the same thing and slowly going over my cheeks look at that guys it is the best highlighter ever let me know if you guys know any other highlighters that are really good and then i'm putting it a bit over my lips under my nose under my lips and a little bit I love it. I don't even know what accent this is. Next, I'm grabbing my blusher. This is Spring Sheen by MAC. I have this really old black um, blusher brush. I don't even know where it's from. I literally just found it in my blush, in my brush section, and I love it. So I'm gonna dab, and then I'm gonna smile where my cheekbones are, and I'm gonna follow that up a bit. And that is perfect for me. Then I'm gonna grab my NYX um, lip liner. This is one of my favorites. I get asked what I'm wearing whenever I wear this in vlogs, and it's soft spoken. And I'm just gonna overline my lips. I love my lips to look bigger. So I literally draw around them. like so and then I kind of contour so I fill in a little on the sides and on the top then I grab my NYX butter gloss in fortune cookie and I put that all over my lips especially in the center and lastly I like to set my face just a little bit with this makeup forever powder if you put a lot it will come up very white and will give you flashback vibes so be careful i literally don't have anything in there i dab like this 
below and I look up and I literally dab slowly all over the key. My friend, my best friend Christina is a makeup artist and she taught me the key is to dab, 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 dab. So don't like pull across, which is what I've been used to doing and sometimes I do. Like right now I just did that, but like you're meant to dab, 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 dab. And if you have oily skin like me, this should keep you grease proof for a good few hours. Like that. So now I'm done with the makeup. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's kind of OTT glamorous, bronzy, and yeah, it's definitely a look that I like to go for quite often, not just for like an occasion, like a date or Valentine's Day. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair. I rarely ever do anything to my hair, so this is my hair like pretty much semi air dried. And then when I wake up in the morning, if it's still a bit damp, I will literally hold the blow dryer on it for like a minute and it'll end up like this. Um, so I'm just going to brush my hair through and I'm going to put some curls into it using a straightener and I'll show you guys how I do that. My hair is too long to fit into the frame, it's even too long when I stand up to fit into the frame, but my hair is basically up to my, to my butt, yeah, it's up to my butt for sure, that's my, this is like literally halfway down my bum, that's where my hair goes to. But yeah, I'm using a hair straightener for now. And this is the Diva Pro Styling Hair Straightener that I got from Sally's. And then I grab my hair in sections. So this is how one section will look like. And I get about halfway down and I grab my hair color and I twist, do I to twist outwards? I'm gonna twist inwards. So I twist inwards and then I pull. I twist again at the end and that is one curl for you guys and then I'm going to continue doing that throughout my whole head basically my hair is all one length so it's pretty much doing the whole thing all the way through so we're halfway through curling this is what it looks like so far just curl the bottoms and I'm going to show you guys how I do the front so I'm going to split it into two pieces this is long again so I'm just going to take the long ones and these ones I'm going to curl back and I'm going to start from quite higher up like so throw that back and then this front one the trick is not to hold it for too long otherwise it'll be too curly so again I Start about halfway down, twist and go fast. Like that. And now I'm going to do the same for this side. So we've now curled both sides. I literally cannot zoom my camera like further out than this um, to show you guys, but this is it. Both sides curled. Um, so I'm going to grab this hairspray, it's the Aussie Miracle Hairspray at Volume and Hold. And I literally just spray my entire hair. Oh, you guys, Aussie hair products smell incredible. Now that that's done, I grab my paddle brush again and I literally just brush through the curls to make them a bit more natural. like so and this is what we sort of end up with and I kind of like to split my hair open the curls and half behind and what I love about this hair look is it will suit even short hair because look at these shorter pieces like if you just curled all of your hair like this look beautiful I think um, so yeah next up is the outfit So first up we have this top from Zara that I've paired with this skirt that I got from H&M. They're both in my vlog number 22 um, in my haul and so are these earrings which are from Forever 21. I feel like this is a very elegant ladylike outfit 
and sometimes we just want to wear something kind of classy um we want to get dressed up but we want to be kind of i don't know classy and formal but still kind of sexy with the slit and romantic with the heart-shaped earrings and yeah i feel like this is definitely the outfit for that if you're going for like a nice chic dinner and you want to stand out you've got this bold print and i've chosen a pair of christian Louboutin black and gold heels so my shoes kind of pop these are the shoes close up and they definitely help to make a statement with the skirt for this outfit in my opinion now let's move on to outfit number two So next up we have this monochromatic look, um, the top and the skirt are both from Zara and the boots are pretty old, they're from ASOS but they're just any old black knee high thigh high boots that you might have in your closet. I like this look because I feel like anyone can kind of put this together with stuff that they have in their closet um, so it's kind of an inspiration for you guys. It's pretty much a long sleeve white top, my one's brand new from Zara um, so you guys can still get it in store now um, but yeah you could just wear it with any old white top and any black mini skirt that you have mine again is from Zara and it's from the sale so they probably don't have it anymore um, but it's just this not front skirt that I got um, and my boots are pretty old from ASOS I love this look because it is so sexy with the mini skirt and the thigh high boots yet yeah, we have such little skin showing so it's very cheeky cheeky sexy as i like to call it um and i absolutely love it and lastly this is for the chicks who are too cool for school for valentine's day who love to dress up but maybe not as like a girly girly because sometimes even I get that vibe I've literally just put the hair into a pony and I've put on some diamante hoop earrings from forever 21 um, this top is from Malaysia but it's basically just a printed white tee and my trousers are from forever 21 I got them in again vlog 22 I freaking love these trousers I have pictures of them on my insta and I've paired them with these crazy high Christian Louboutins um, any stiletto heel will do but again I wanted like a little statement heel so if you have glittery heels even or anything for you that's a statement I wanted something that was mega high so that's why I chose these ones before I end this video I want to talk to you guys about self-love and positivity because I think it's so important I'm going to read you a quote that I read today that I love um, only about 10% of our happiness is based on our external world. The other 90% is based on how we see the world. So this relates to every aspect of our life, including our love lives. Uh, we could sit down and be upset that we're single on Valentine's Day, or we could put everything, the whole weight of our happiness onto our relationship and be like, oh my God, I'm in a relationship and all of this, which is also fabulous. But, you know, everything, what makes you happy, um, is all about how you perceive things. And if you want to be happy and if you want to have love, then all you got to do is put that energy out there. And I promise you, you will magnetize that energy back to yourself. And you will be the one who benefits from it all. I really, really hope that you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. I love you all so, so much from the bottom of my heart. And even if you're not going out celebrating, you have a night in with yourself, self-love is also the most important thing. So yeah, I just wanted to spread that message for you guys. That is the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up for me. I'll be so grateful. And subscribe to join my little YouTube fam. We would love to have you here. My socials are always linked down in the description, but my Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Steffi Samai. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.